George Harris, I'd like you to meet Deputy Chief Johnson of the LAPD. It's, it's inconceivable to imagine what, what being on a show for six years is like. Um, and being with a character that long, it's, it's so wonderful and it's so fulfilling. And, and, and yet, um, you don't ever want to get into a rut. I never wanted to wake up in the morning and not want to go to work. And I had, I was concerned that if I signed on for, you know, season seven and season eight, that I would feel that way. And that would just diminish the whole, um, experience for me, I think. Chief Johnson. Yes, Captain. I'm sorry. I understand you apprehended your suspect when he was with Philip Stray. Yes, and now Mr. Harris, the rape and taxi driver, won't even talk to us. Well, I'm, you know, I'm very much a New Yorker, although I have really grown to absolutely love Los Angeles, I have to say. But my family's in New York, and I have a big family. I love working with Kevin. Um, I keep wanting Kevin to direct me and, you know, my dead man walking. I'm like, honey, where's my, where's my dead man walking? Where's my Oscar? I know you can do it for me, baby. <laughs> Philip Stroh is part of the federal lawsuit against you. I am still unable to prove who the leak is in your division. Tread lightly. I would think it would be interesting to have Brenda have a very dark ending. Um, a very dark ending. Um, and while um, it is on the dark side... Uh, it's certainly, it's not going to upset anybody. Excuse me? I think that probably as this last, you know, seven episodes unfolds and she gets further and further away, I will, I will miss her more and more. I will. Natalie Gilbert is a victim. No, and she's not. She's a witness. We are not we, trying we can George add to George Harris for her are rape. You telling me? She's a mad wait a impressive. Minute. No, Just you wait, wait a minute. I intend to win this case. And let me be clear about this. It is my case. 